Sylvia Alice Earl D.S.C. Reed, born August 30, 1935, is an American marine biologist, explorer, author, and lecturer. She has been a National Geographic explorer in residence since 1998. Earl was the first female chief scientist of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and was named by Time magazine as its first hero for the planet in 1998. She is also part of the group Ocean Elders, which is dedicated to protecting the ocean and its wildlife. <laughs> Early life and education Earl was born in 1935 in the Gibbstown section of Greenwich Township, Gloucester County, New Jersey, to Louis Reed and Alice Freeze Ritchie Earl. Both of Earl's parents were enthusiastic about the outdoors and supportive of their daughter's early interests in the natural world. The family moved to the western coast of Florida in Earl's childhood. Earl received an associate degree from St. Petersburg Junior College 1952, a Bachelor of Science degree from Florida State University 1955, and a Master of Science 1956 and Doctorate of Phycology 1966 from Duke University. Topic career Earl was the curator of phycology at the California Academy of Sciences 1979 and a research associate at the University of California, Berkeley 1969 Radcliffe Institute Scholar 1967 and research fellow at Harvard University 1967 after receiving her Ph.D. in 1966, Earl spent a year as a research fellow at Harvard, then returned to Florida as the resident director of the Cape Hayes Marine Laboratory. In 1969, she applied to join the Tektite Project, an installation 50 feet below the surface of the sea off the coast of the Virgin Islands that allowed scientists to live submersed in their area of study for up to several weeks. Although she had logged more than 1,000 research hours underwater, Earl was rejected from the program. The next year, she was selected to lead the first all-female team of aquanauts in Tektite II. In 1979, she made an open-ocean gym suit dive to the sea ocean floor near Oahu, setting a women's depth record of 381 meters (1,250 1 feet). In 1979, she also began her tenure as the curator of phycology at the California Academy of Sciences, where she served until 1986. From 1980 to 1984, she served on the National Advisory Committee on Oceans and Atmosphere. In 1982, she and her later husband, Graham Hawkes, an engineer and submersible designer, founded Deep Ocean Engineering to design, operate, support, and consult on piloted and robotic subsea systems. In 1985, the Deep Ocean Engineering team designed and built the Deep Rover Research Submarine, which operates down to 1,000 meters By 1986, Deep Rover had been tested and Earl joined the team conducting training off Lee Stocking Island in the Bahamas. Earl left the company in 1990 to accept an appointment as Chief Scientist at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, where she stayed until 1992. She was the first woman to hold that position. In 1992, Earl founded Deep Ocean Exploration and Research Marine to further advance marine engineering. The company, now run by Earl's daughter, Elizabeth, designs, builds, and operates equipment for deep ocean environments. Since 1998, Earl has been a National Geographic Explorer in residence. She is sometimes called Her Deepness or The Sturgeon General. From 1998 to 2002, she led the Sustainable Seas Expeditions, a five year program sponsored by the National Geographic Society and funded by the Richard and Rhoda Goldman Fund to study the United States National Marine Sanctuary. Earl was a leader of the Sustainable Seas Expeditions, council chair for the Hart Research Institute for the Gulf of Mexico Studies at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, and chair of the Advisory Council for the Ocean in Google Earth. She also provided the Deepworker 2000 submersible used to quantify the species of fish as well as the space resources utilized within the Stellwagen Bank National Marine Sanctuary. Earl founded Mission Blue, also known as the Sylvia Earl Alliance, Deep Search Foundation, and Deep Search, a non-profit foundation for protecting and exploring the Earth's ocean. In addition, she serves on several boards, including Marine Conservation Institute, an expert on the impact of oil spills. Earl was called upon to lead several research trips during the Persian Gulf War in 1991 to determine environmental damage caused by Iraq's destruction of Kuwaiti oil wells. 
Given her past experience with the Exxon Valdez and Mega Borg oil spills, Earl was called to consult during the Deepwater Horizon disaster in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010. In 2010, at the Hague International Model United Nations Conference, Earl gave a 14-minute speech in front of 3,500 delegates and United Nations ambassadors. In July 2012, Earl led an expedition to NOAA's Aquarius Underwater Laboratory, located off Key Largo, Florida. The expedition, entitled, Celebrating 50 Years of Living Beneath the Sea, commemorated the 50th anniversary of Jacques Cousteau's Conshelf I project and investigated coral reefs and ocean health. Mark Patterson co-led the expedition with Earl. Their Aquanaut team also included underwater filmmaker DJ. Roller and oceanographer M. Dale Stokes, Earl made a cameo appearance in the daily cartoon strip Sherman's Lagoon in the week starting September 17, 2012, to discuss the closing of the Aquarius Underwater Laboratory. In May 2013, the Science Laureates of the United States Act of 2013 H.R. 1891, 113th Congress was introduced into Congress. Sylvia Earl was listed by one commentator as a possible nominee for the position of Science Laureate. If the act were to pass, in January 2018, 18, the Seattle Aquarium granted its inaugural Lifetime Achievement Award to Dr. Earl, and renamed the Seattle Aquarium Medal in her honor. The Aquarium's first Lifetime Achievement Award was awarded to Dr. Earl. <laughs> Mission Blue In 2009, Earl won a TED Prize. With TED's support, she launched Mission Blue, which aims to establish marine protected areas dubbed Hope Spots around the globe. With Mission Blue and its partners, Earl leads expeditions to Hope Spots around the globe. Past expeditions include Cuba in 2009, Belize in January 2010, the Galapagos Islands in April 2010, Costa Rica and the Central American Dome in early 2014 and the South African coast in late 2014. In August 2014, a Netflix exclusive documentary titled Mission Blue was released. It focuses on Earl's life and career as well as her Mission Blue campaign to create a global network of marine protected areas. As of January 2015, there were 50 official hope spots around the world. As the organization continues to grow with Dr. Earl's work and her team, Mission Blue has 94 hope spots, 2018. Topic: <laughs> Accomplishments and Honors. 1970, U.S. Department of Interior Conservation Service Award and Los Angeles Times Woman of the Year 1976, NOGI Award for Science 1980, Explorers Club Lowell Thomas Award 1981, ordained as a Knight of the Order of the Golden Ark by the Prince of the Netherlands 1986, set the women's record for a world solo dive depth and tie the overall record with Graham Hawkes 1990, Society of Women Geographers Gold Medal 1991, American Academy Academy of Achievement Golden Plate Award 1996, Lindbergh Foundation Award, the Explorers Club Medal and Zonta International Honorary Member 1997, Seakeeper Award at the International Seakeepers Society's Bal de la Mer 1998, UN Global 500 Laureate and National Wildlife Federation Conservationist of the Year 2000, National Women's Hall of Fame, Library of Congress Living Legend, Women Divers Hall of Fame 2004, International Banksia Award, the Richard Richard Hopper Day Memorial Medal from the Philadelphia Academy of Sciences, and the Barnard College Medal 2005, John P. McGovern Science and Society Award from Sigma Xi 2009, Artilio Award Premio Artilio 2009, and Ted Prize 2009, Earl was awarded the National Audubon Society's prestigious Rachel Carson Award, a premier award honoring distinguished American women environmentalists. 2010, Earl was awarded the Roy Chapman Andrews Distinguished Explorer Award from the Roy Chapman Andrews Society in Beloit, Y. 2010, Carl Sagan Award for Public Understanding of Science 2011, Honorary Doctorate from Smith College and Commencement Address at Warren Wilson College, Medal of Honor from the Dominican Republic 2013, Honorary Doctorate from the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University and the Hubbard Medal, the National Geographic Society's highest honor, for distinction in exploration, discovery and research. 
2014, Walter Cronkite Award, UN Champions of the Earth Award, Glamour Woman of the Year, and the first woman to be celebrated at an Explorers Club tribute ceremony 2017, Rachel Carson Prize, Lewis Thomas Prize, the Perfect World Foundations Award, the Conservationist of the Year 2017, 2018, Seattle Aquarium Lifetime Achievement Award 1. 2018, Princess of Asturias Award of Concord Concordia 2018, Doctor of Science from the University of Edinburgh. Topic publications Earl has authored over 150 publications, a selection is listed here. Earl, Sylvia and Al Giddings 1980. Exploring the Deep Frontier, The Adventure of Man in the Sea. National Geographic Society. ISBN 0-87044-343-7. Earl, Sylvia 1996. Sea Change, A Message of the Oceans. Ballantine Books. ISBN 0-449-91065-2. Earl, Sylvia 1999. Dive, My Adventure in the Deep Frontier. National Geographic Children's Books. ISBN 0-7922-7144-0. Earl, Sylvia 1999. Wild Ocean, America's Parks Under the Sea. National Geographic Society. ISBN 0-7922-7471-7. Earl, Sylvia 2000. Sea Critters. National Geographic Children's Books. ISBN 0-439-28575-5. Ellen, Prager and Earl, Sylvia 2000. The Oceans. McGraw-Hill. ISBN 0-07-138177-5. Earl, Sylvia 2001. Hello, Fish, Visiting the Coral Reef. National Geographic Children's Books. ISBN 0-7922-6697-8. Earl, Sylvia 2001. National Geographic Atlas of the Ocean, The Deep Frontier. National Geographic. ISBN 0-7922-6426-6. Earl, Sylvia 2003. Jump into Science, Coral Reefs. National Geographic Children's Books. ISBN 0-7922-6953-5. Earl, Sylvia and Linda K. Glover 2008. Ocean, an Illustrated Atlas National Geographic Atlas. National Geographic. ISBN 1-4262-0319-5. Earl, Sylvia 2009. The World is Blue, How Our Fate and the Oceans Are One. National Geographic Books. ISBN 1-4262-0541-4. Co-author The Protection and Management of the Sargasso Sea, the Golden Floating Rainforest of the Atlantic Ocean. Summary Science and Supporting Evidence Case. Sargasso Sea Alliance. Earl, Sylvia 2012. The Sweet Spot in Time. Why the Ocean Matters to Everyone, Everywhere. Virginia Quarterly Review, Fall. 2-1.